going to see how close I can get to this. Already spooked him once. Trying to get close to him. Alright, let's keep going. We're not even halfway to our spot yet. A bunch of air bubbles coming out because all those little fiddler crabs just went inside of their little holes, like right here. He went in already. So they're all just sitting in front of their holes. Let me see if I can find a little fiddler. Come here, bud. Little, little beady eyes like a snail. So there's a bunch of them, and then we got a bunch of little killies all over the place. Look how big these killies are. Wow. Look at them all coming out. Grab one. Big one. Let's see, got one. So this one's a male, I believe. Let's see this one. So we are exploring Long Island and we got little fiddler crabs all over the place. From what it looks like, they're both male. He's pinching me. Little does he know, if he lets go, he's good. All right, bud, you go, you go. Let's go catch some fish. So cool. This is turning out to be a pretty cool day. When you open up your eyes and actually start looking for things, you're gonna see things all over the place. Like those little crabs. There's crabs everywhere, there's killies everywhere. But when you open your eyes, I'm right there. Where is he? That way? Right there. There's an osprey with, I'm pretty sure, two little chicks. Probably looking for some food eventually. It's getting hot. I know that's what I'd do. All right, hear me out. It's kind of weird, but it's actually kind of cool at the same time. I'm just gonna stand in this water for a couple minutes and I'm gonna show you what happens. Watch this. So it's the full moon in July and it's pretty warm and there's crabs everywhere. Now mind you, there are crabs everywhere. This is gonna be cool. So at first I kind of freaked out and I thought they were bugs. And then when I had one on my hand, I was like, no way, it's a July full moon. And that, that's a crab hatch right there. So there are thousands of little baby crabs everywhere. I'm gonna to try to find some on the sand. I, I doubt I'm gonna be able to find them because they're so small. They actually look like little ticks, but they're baby crabs. 
I'm telling you, open your eyes and look for things and you're gonna find things you never thought you'd see. It's so cool. No fish yet, but <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, so now that I got my eye for them, they are everywhere. Everywhere. It's like every square inch is moving now, now that I can see them. Crazy. I know most of you would not like having baby crabs crawling all over your legs, but I think it's pretty neat. We didn't catch any fish today, and I don't know how that's gonna go. We're probably gonna go out tonight again, and like dark night, try to catch something. I'm sure we're gonna find some really cool things in some tide pools, but um, hey. Let's go see what happens and the day's not over. It's just really, really, really hot and I went through all of my liquids and I still have a walk back. So let's see what's happening in the, the tide pools here at low tide and see what happens. Just so you know, I've been here for over an entire tide. I am baked. Let's go. So now that we're on our way, I wanna look back and see how many fiddler crabs there are. If there are any green crabs or Asian shore crabs both invasive and uh, yeah see what happens so we got two horseshoe crabs here doing the loving well really got a bunch of little snails. Obviously, everybody has seen these boys. They're all over the place. But, cool little fellas. All right, let's see what else we can find. Well, I can see that seagull we saw before. All right, I guess you're sick instead of hurt. I'll leave you alone. Rest in peace, little friend. Doesn't look like you made it. I wonder what was wrong. He was alive when we came out. He looked up at me. Doesn't look like he's alive now. He looked like he was sick more than hurt because he wasn't moving when I came to him. So, sucks, but that's life. So we're chilling with the crabs. Whatever sound you can hear on the microphone, that's all crabs moving within the grass, the water, and eating. They're just picking away at little tiny microorganisms just chilling in the, in the mud here. It seems like most of their food is coming out of where the water still is. I don't know if that's because whatever they're eating is in the water or if it's dying because there's not enough water. Or maybe they just prefer wet food. It's crazy. I think we've seen enough fiddler crabs. Let's go see what else is around.
off, Wally. I've seen it the other day. There. there was probably a hundred of them. Really? For as far as you can see, left and right, they were they were porpoise. Yeah. Looks like they're heading out. They're big. Put your rod down. Want me to move? Nope. They're just chilling in the rip. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It's nice to see stuff like that. It's, it's very relaxing just watching them move through the water so gently and effortlessly. And they're huge. And they're big. I wonder how many people are like, ah, oh, shark, ah, <laughs> with all this stuff going on. I bet you that's happening a lot. Every fin is a shark. There they are, they just keep coming up and rolling out. That's a freaking pelican, Dad. Yeah. No. It's not a blue herring. It's that's, a, that's a pelican. We're over here looking at the dolphins and talking. And then all of a sudden a pelican flies by. I grabbed the camera because like I've never seen that up here. It's interesting. What the heck? Maybe we should just nature watch today. <laughs> Let's just sit and wait for the tide to change and see what else comes up out of the water. Maybe we'll see a big whale or something. What's happened? I know, I'd love to see that. <laughs> 